Hey, welcome to section 2-3. This is Mrs. Steiner speaking. So far in chapter 2, we've worked with identifying relations and functions and function notation. In section 2-2, we worked with direct variations and noticed that they were very similar to um, slope-intercept form, except the b was 0, and then we found that they graphed to be straight slanted lines through the origin. And now we are going on into talking about slope of a line and equations of the line as we go further in section 2-3. The slope of a line is referred to as the letter lowercase m. It is the amount of steepness or slant that a line has. So we have some slanted lines. We have some that are much more steep. They could be shallow and negative. They could be steep and negative as far as the slope is concerned. Slope, M, is rise over run. Rise means vertical change up and down. Run means horizontal change, left or right. Slope can also be calculated. Slope, if you know two points, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So all this information is review, right? So you're going to have to pull from your, your past knowledge in Algebra 1 as we keep going. Slope can be obtained when you're given two points or when you're given a graph. So find the slope of the line passing through the given points. Well, I have these two given points, negative 10, 2, and 4, negative 5. I identify my x and my y, my first point, my x and my y of my second point, and I apply the slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And notice how I treat my negative number after the minus sign with parentheses. So negative 5 minus 2, negative 7. Negative 4 minus a negative becomes plus a positive, so plus 10, 14, and you always reduce slope of a half. Excuse me, negative a half. Part B, I have my next set of points. Here's my x1, my y1, my x2, my y2. I apply my equation, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, negative 1 minus negative 1 means plus, so negative 1 plus 1, 0 over negative 1. Well, whenever you have 0 over any number, the answer is zero. This is a slope of zero. And it is a special scenario of a line. It is a horizontal line. There's no rise for the run that goes left and right. And finally, on this slide, let's do slope one more time. Y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 negative 8 negative 2 this turns into plus 2 oh. now I end up with a number over 0 and any time I end up with a number over 0 I end up with undefined slope. 
the slope does not exist. And some people say no slope. I think that that's just poor language usage. It's really undefined. There is no way to define the slope. It comes from a vertical line scenario. There's no change in x. It's all just change in y. And an undefined slope does not pass the vertical line test. So to conclude on this slide, you can have positive slope of different varying um, steepnesses. It rises from left to right. You can have negative slope of different steepnesses, and it will fall from left to right. Zero slope is a horizontal line. Undefined slope is a vertical line. Now, to go on with the linear equations, the graph of a linear equation is a straight line. It could be vertical, it could be slanted, it could be horizontal. In slope-intercept form, our e linear equation looks like this. Okay. In point-slope form, which will be dealt with further on in another section, our form looks like this. And in standard form, the, a linear equation looks like this. Now, the rest of our period today, we are going to be working on this slope-intercept form. Okay. Y equals mx plus b. The slope is always m. It is the coefficient of the x. The b value is always the y-intercept. And a y-intercept is the place where the line crosses the y-axis. So let's work with those two ideas. What is the equation of each line? I'm given slope and I'm given a y-intercept. Well, the word slope is the same thing as this variable little m. So I know I have this position, y equals negative 3. And the y-intercept, this value right here is my b value. So I know I have then x and then plus my b value. And here is the equation of my line. What if you're given a graph? You have to still pull off these same two pieces of information. So I'm going to look for my y-intercept. Now remember, it's a place where the graph crosses the y-axis. So here is my y-intercept. And I would say my b value equals negative 1. And then from there, I'm going to count my slope, and I'm going to count my rise, my rise, and then I'm going to count my run. So my rise over my run to get my m. Rise is 1, 2. Run is 1, 2, 3. Now my equation, y equals 2 thirds x and then minus 1. And then finally on this slide, example 3, write the equation in slope-intercept form. State the slope and the y-intercept. Well, slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So that means solve for y. So we get to practice that solving literal equations idea and get the y by itself. Well, that means I have some terms to move to the other side. So I'm going to add 15 to the other side. I'm going to subtract 2x to the other side. And then I have 3y equals uh, negative 2x plus 15. I better put my mx first. 
Then I'm going to divide by 3 everywhere and do any kind of reducing that I need to. So y equals, well, I don't reduce negative 2 thirds, x, and then I say plus 5. Slope intercept form. The slope is negative 2 thirds. The y intercept is 5. So there's all of my identified or requested values. Next one, solve for y. Well, I have a term to move to the other side, so I'm going to add 3x to the other side. And I have 3x plus 12 equals 10y. And then I'm going to divide by 10 everywhere. And as I get my y equals, well, 3 over 10 does not reduce, so 3 tenths x. But 12 over 10 does reduce by 2, so 6 fifths. So here's my slope-intercept form. Now I'm ready to state my slope, 3 tenths. And my y-intercept is 6 fifths. Okay, now here's a guided practice. Go ahead and pause the video and do this guided practice. This guided practice is done very much like this part B for example two. Find the equation of that line. Now let's finish this section worth of notes with example four. It says graph. Well, when we graph, the very first thing you wanna do is get this equation into y equals mx plus b form. So you have to practice the idea of what we just did in example three. I have to solve for y. So as I solve for y, I subtract four x to the other side. I have negative three y equals negative four x plus 24. Then, divide all areas by negative 3, all sides. And you come up with, oh, I think I'm going to write it up here. Y equals positive 4 thirds X because you have negative divided by negative. And then minus because 24 divided by negative 3 is negative 8. So then, I take this and I plot the B on the y-axis. Well, my B is my negative 8. I'm plotting it on the y-axis. Then I'm going to use my slope to get two more points. I'm going to ask you for three points total, so two more points. This will be up, 4, and right, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. And then you draw the line. So draw in your line through your points. I'm kind of getting the bottom edge of them with my board here. Okay? Follow your steps. You can't go wrong. This is the end of two, three notes. I'll see you tomorrow.